Hey guys, so today's tutorial is focusing on my Kat Von D palette that I just um, got for my mom. She bought it for herself and didn't really use it and gave it to me. It looks like this. It is a nice neutral palette. The only thing I did add in this one color from my Coastal Scents Hot Pots and it kind of looks like soft brown. Um, just a mid-tone lighter blending matte color because it has the darker one that I use that's matte. But um, the rest are shimmery, so I wanted to add in a good transition color. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you do. And thank you for watching. Bye. Okay, guys, we are going to start off with a big fluffy blending brush and take it into a mid-tone brown for our crease. And this is for my Coastal Scents palette. I needed a mid-tone matte color. We're blending that all over the crease. Next we're going to take a peach base. This is Pixie Shadow Pencil. And blend it out with your finger. And then we're taking a flat shader. And that is going to go into downtown. We're going to spread that all over the lid. Next we're going to take Pray For Me and we're going to put that in on the outer lid with the same shader brush. And then we're going to blend it out with an empty blending brush. Next we're taking a smaller blending brush and dipping it into Caravaggio, if that's how you say it. It's the deepest darkest matte brown. And you really just want to work that into your crease and build it up to the intensity that you want. I would suggest starting off with the first amount, blending it out, seeing if you like it. And you can always add more. It's much harder to blend it out when you have too much. And as you can see here, I'm just taking it in and blending it out with my um, clean blending brush. Blending, blending, blending. <laughs> Next we're going to take the lightest shimmery color called Heavens with a flat brush and we're going to pop that under the brow bone. And of course, take our big fluffy blending brush and blend it into the other colors. That way you're, you still have a very pretty sharp highlight, but it's not so harsh sharp. And then I am taking the second color called Enjoy the Silence and popping that in the inner corner. And then I'm taking the same peach pencil, cream eyeshadow, and putting that on the inner lower lash line. And taking Heavens mixed with Enjoy the Silence. And taking a pencil brush and putting that over the pencil, the cream pencil. Sorry, it seems I was having trouble staying in frame for this video. Next, we're going to line our lash line with a brown eyeliner. We're going to go over that with the darker browns in the palette called Boo Worm and Caravaggio with a pencil brush. 
you can't tell yet, I'm much more a fan of blended out eyeliner. I think it looks so much nicer. Here we're going to take our mascara and apply that. I would use your favorite. Right now I don't really have a favorite, so I'm using anything that I have until I can go pick up a new one. so this is the final look I hope you liked it it's just a simple neutral eye I put on my lips the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain it's kind of a neutral color for my lips um, and I also had chapstick on so it blurred it out a little bit I just wanted something simple today I didn't film my foundation routine but there will be a separate video for that soon and you can also see I think in my um, I'll link it down below it's one of my the last second to last tutorial that I did and if you like this video please like it and subscribe if you would like and comment down below other videos you might want to see and thank you so much for watching bye